Thank you all so much for being here. There are some seats here um, in the second, third rows here, if anybody would like to get a seat. My name is Sochi Mora. I'm the Director of Communications for the City of McAllen, and we are so proud to welcome all of you here to Macy's, my favorite store. My credit card gets used a lot here. Um, and so I asked if we could have it right next to the shoe department, but we are here for a very special uh, press conference today. We have so many more uh, exciting elements to announce for the McAllen Holiday Parade presented by HEB, but we have uh, such a special announcement, uh, the spirit of the season, which is about giving and thinking of others, and uh, that belief in and, uh, and love that we share for this um, season. So uh, before we continue, I would like to recognize all of our special guests, including the mayor of the official South Pole of Texas, the Honorable Jim Darling, <laughs> mayor of the city of McAllen. Also joining us today, Mayor Pro Tem Veronica Whitaker. And the Honorable uh, J.J. Joaquin Zamora, there you are with his wife, Mrs. Zamora. City Manager for the City of McAllen, Mr. Roy Rodriguez. And of course, none of this could be possible without um, all of our amazing sponsors. And I would like to uh, thank Mr. Uh, Bob and Janet Vacker, Mr. and Mrs. John, uh, Vacker for being here with us from Burt Ogden at the S dealership. The parade is powered by 120,000 horsepower of uh, uh, vehicles from the dealership to pull those beautiful 55 floats that you will be seeing on Saturday. So thank you so much for that. And of course, we have our good friends from uh, Driscoll Health System, Delegar San Sonia Viescas. Thank you so much for joining us. And of course, we are here in this beautiful store, Macy's, and all of the wonderful folks from Macy's, all of the staff, and of course, um, Jose Gamillo, Diversity and Inclusion Initiative, Saira Chequer, and Milo Romero. Thank you all. And if there's anyone from Macy's I miss, please, you know, thank you all so much. We have such an, an amazing announcement from you. And of course, we will be talking about uh, the Make-A-Wish Rio Grande Valley uh, Foundation and, and a very special announcement from them. So thank you, Ava Sandlin, president of Make-A-Wish RGV, for being here. And someone that we'll be hearing from very soon and probably the most special guest here, uh, Ms. Yara Ramos. Yara, thank you so much for being here and your family and uh, sharing your story with us to talk about um, Macy's and um, all of the special spirit of the holiday, um, I'd like to bring up the Honorable Jim Darling. Thank you and good afternoon. Is, is it exciting or what? It keeps getting more exciting. When I was a little kid, I loved Christmas because that was the only time you got a present, but I never knew I'd come and be a mayor of McAllen and have all that excitement every Christmas. It's like 100 times when I was a kid, so it's really uh, great for, for me to be here, and I appreciate um, all you being here today. You know, uh, uh, actually, in Macy's is, um, I think my wife, Sandra Zoshi's, and it's, that's her favorite place, too. In fact, there's, a, there's one department that I'll just name after me over there, but they, uh, they haven't done that yet. So, that, but, but okay, we're gearing up. It's the largest single event in South Texas. I think almost the largest single event in the state of Texas, right, Roy? And it's getting ready for the parade and everything else that's encompassing with that. So it's a lot of time, a lot to be excited about. You know, we have a lot of volunteers. Hundreds of volunteers come out. So thank them as you see them. Our city workers are working 24, 20, how many, Laura? All day, every day. Right, Roy? And, um, and so we, we abide by all the overtime rules and all that stuff. But nonetheless, when you see them, thank them. You know, wave to them and thank them. They really appreciate that, and we appreciate what, what they do. One of the things that we do a survey on the parade every year is people say one of the most important things they say is they felt safe. And that's a big deal. You have 250,000 people in, in this kind of environment. They, say, they feel safe. And although we have the safest city in the state of Texas and the fourth in the country, it still takes a lot of work to do that. So we have FBI, the Sheriff's Department, DPS. We have helicopters. We have everything out there and do a great job to so make, make sure it's safe for everybody and hope um, people really appreciate that. I understand it'll there'll be about a quarter of a million people for some universities, that's 250,000 people will be there on the parade on Saturday. I didn't mention what. It could be any university, so you just take your pick. But anyways, so, so bring your family and friends and come to eat and shop at La Plaza Mall, because that's, that's kind of a holiday spirit. It's great. We've got a lot of parking here. I have no problem coming in. It's, it's great to, to be here. There's a lot of things to do. You can get a picture with my friend here. Where's my friend? The mayor of, of the North Pole, Santa Claus. Where's Santa Claus? 
He's over there busy getting his picture taken, I guess. He'll be here until December 24th, and then he's got to take off because he's got a big night on the 24th. So also visit everything at the Macy's store here. We appreciate them as being one of the sponsors. And Vackers, we couldn't do the parade literally without you and all the vehicles that you, you supply. It's really tremendous that you, that you do that. So I'm a big believer in what can happen in the community when we took, put our mind to, especially here in the valley. And it's really kind of neat to see all the, all, everything come together. And one other thing I'd like to talk about is the Macy's Believe campaign. It uh, can raise a lot of money and benefit the Make-A-Wish Foundation uh, with your participation. It's really easy to do. All, all you got to do is write a letter to the big guy, Santa Claus, at the North Pole and put your letter in a mailbox. It's right over here. There will also be a mailbox at, at, mailbox at Christmas in the Park tomorrow and Friday over by the stadium when we have that event. So every let, letter deposited at Macy's will be a dollar match for the Make-A-Wish organization. And if you write your letter today, right, or tomorrow, Macy's will double that donation. Friday. So everybody, Friday. Friday, Friday. So make sure you do that. In fact, I wrote my letter here. I, I could read it. So I said, it's two, it, today, well, it's today, it doubled Friday? Friday. Okay, well, I'm not going to mail this to Friday. Then, so <laughs> <laughs> my letter is, thanks for, uh, dear Santa, thanks for giving me the opportunity to meet Yara today. It was very special. And I said, P.S., I've been, ver I've been mostly nice this year. <laughs> and Jim Darling Mayor, so hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully, there you go. Here you go, Sam. How you doing? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I haven't seen you since last year. How you been? I've been good. Have uh, you been good? I've been mostly nice. Okay, and good. So um, <laughs> we do that. As always, kids, you better watch out because you never know when this guy here and my buddy, my pal Santa Claus, will be watching you, and he does. So thank you very much. Have a merry, merry Christmas. Thank you so much for joining us, Santa. We appreciate that. My pleasure. Thank you. Um, I would also like to thank all of our media partners who are here with us today. We are actually live on KGBT Channel 4 for their 5 o'clock news and also five live on Univision. So thank you to both of those who are here and to our other media partners, Revista Expresión and uh, Texas Border Business. Thank you for all your support for the City of McAllen and the McAllen Holiday Parade. Santa, did you want to say a few words or you're... <laughs> I'm just here to look handsome. Oh, well, you do that. <laughs> Okay, I'll give you my list. It's mainly that section over there, okay? Oh. <laughs> Have you been good? Well, uh, you know, it depends. That's okay. That's a, as yeah. long as you're trying. I'm trying. Okay. I am. I am. <laughs> well, to talk all about Macy's and their diversity and inclusion initiatives and this amazing Believe campaign, I would like to invite up Jose Gamillo from Macy's to tell us all about that. Thank you so much, Jose. Good afternoon. Buenas tardes. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's start with a little video. It's only going to be like about an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> so just stay with me. <laughs> but let's get the video going. <laughs> oh, an amazing serve. <laughs> Virginia. Jenny, it's starting. Come on, Dad. I'm coming. Well, the holidays are officially here. Santa Claus has come to town. Having traveled all the way from the North Pole to Macy's 34th when I grow up, I want to be Santa. <laughs> you can't be Santa. You're a girl. You want to be Santa. Okay, guys, settle down. Are you going to be my reindeer? Oh, oh. So 
uh, what do you think? Do you believe? Yes. Oh, yes, we do believe. Even Santa believes. So, you know, good afternoon. It is a pleasure for me to be here today. Uh, my name is Jose Gamio. I oversee multicultural community engagement for Total Macy's Company, and it's one of the initiatives uh, under our diversity and inclusion um, strategy. So Macy's is more than just a department store. Uh, the holidays when Macy's truly shines, you know, and we celebrate the holiday season with communities around the country. We bring communities together with Christmas tree lighting, uh, parades, you know, did anybody watch the Thanksgiving parade? Yes. I'm sure you have. Um, you know, interactive holiday windows and much, much more. Uh, today is one of those memorable moments to get together and celebrate. Um, you know, the belief campaign, you know, is what we wanted to highlight. You know, uh, we have been doing that campaign since, since 2003, okay? Since then, for each letter, you know, that everybody writes, it doesn't matter how old you are, you can write your letter. You know, uh, Macy's will donate $1 up to $1 million to make a witch foundation. So isn't that amazing? I think it is. <laughs> so, um, and we have donated more than $122 million to make a witch foundation, including more than $19 million with our belief campaign, helping grant more than 14,000 wishes. More than 2.9 million people have been impacted with these wishes that Macy's have helped to grant, including kids, their families, volunteers, community groups, medical professionals, and much, much more. So this coming a Friday, you know, uh, when I saw the mayor, I saw that he was writing his, you know, uh, red shirt, you know, he was just missing the Macy's logo because he did a great job talking about the belief campaign. So he pretty much, you know, summarized, you know, our belief campaign. So very easy, you know, we just want to get closer to our community. You know, for each letter, you know, we pay, you know, we donate, you know, a dollar to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. The great news is, you know, this coming up Friday, December the 6th, is, you know, is National Belief Day. So what is going to happen is, you know, that day instead of donating one dollar, we're going to be donating two dollars for each letter, up to an additional one million dollars. So again, what we need you is to encourage, you know, all your family, friends, you know, to come and write a letter to Santa. You know, we also, you know, uh, you know, Santa is becoming very techy. You know, technology is so you can go online and write your letter to Santa also. You know, and we still will be granting, you know, those wishes. You know, uh, again, you know, we're so happy to be back this year as one of the sponsors of the holiday, you know, uh, McAllen Holiday Parade. You know, it is a great place uh, for us to be here. We brought a balloon, you know, from New York. You know, I have, you know, uh, one of my partners, Milo, that is here with us from New York, you know, so uh, we brought the balloon that you will see on our parade. So we are very, very excited uh, to be part of that. You know, everybody knows you know, the Thanksgiving parade, but we wanted to take that, you know, across, you know, like uh, across, you know, the nation. So again, you know, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for being a loyal customer of Macy's, you know, and I hope to see all of you on Saturday. You guys, I need your help. Let's spread just a little bit of holiday cheer to kids that need the most. I challenge you to help make a wish grant as many wishes as possible. All you have to do is write a letter to Santa. Every letter equals a $1 donation to make a wish on behalf of Macy's. Just look at all these wishes being granted. Let's give hope and love this holiday season. Kids with critical illnesses will have their wishes coming true thanks to you. You can write your letters in store. Just look for the big red mailbox. Or online. It's so easy. Watch. All you have to do is go to Macy's.com slash believe or write your letter in store. Then challenge your friends to do the same by tagging them in the comments below. Come on, let's go grant some wishes. All right, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. And back to you. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Santa. Yes, it's just such an amazing uh, campaign.
campaign. It's, it's something that we all still believe in. I hope you all still believe in Santa Claus. I know I do. And I had my boys, my 16-year-old, writing his letter already sent us. So I've got his list. And so, um, and just uh, what a wonderful way to express that um, that belief in the season of, of love and giving. And of course, it just comes out. And we're going to hear all about uh, what that means for our community here in McAllen and the Rio Grande Valley. So to tell us a little bit more about what Macy's is doing here in our community, I'd like to invite up Saida to get uh, the manager here for Macy's and to tell us everything about uh, what's going on here with Macy's. Good afternoon and welcome to Macy's La Plaza. My name is Saida Checker and I'm your store manager here at this location. So I just want to start off by thanking our fellow uh, Make-A-Wish partners here locally in McAllen. Thank you so much. And also thank you for Yara for making our special day here, being here as a special guest for us. I'm coming out today to celebrate one of the favorite parts of this holiday season, Macy's annual belief campaign. So as Jose mentioned, um, you know, this is just a great initiative, a great campaign that we have going on. So we invite every single one of you to come by this Friday so that we can get those double donations with National Belief Day. In addition, I want to invite you all to um, you know, this Saturday, we know that we have a special day, our holiday parade, where you will experience, of course, the magic of Macy's. We do have our, our special um, stylist, Sig Ruiz, uh, from our store. He will be styling three of the celebrities, and that will be uh, Mane de la Parra, Carolina Sandoval, and Jorge Bernal. We invite you to, you know, to set up one of the appointments here with us today, and we can't wait to see you there at the holiday parade. Uh, we do have a video for the celebrities. Thank you. And you can make your own appointment here today, so we have SIG available. So thank you once again for being here. We do have some fun things planned today, so now I'm going to pass it over to, or I'm going to introduce Ava Sandlin, our CEO for Make-A-Wish McAllen, who has something very special to share with you, Yara. Go ahead, Ava. Thank you so much. This is such a pleasure to be here, and we are so happy to be partners with Macy's. Macy's has pulled us through several wishes for many years, over 12 years now. And uh, being a partner not only with the Believe campaign, but in other ways as well with our shopping sprees. We have all sorts of wishes. We have a lot of celebrity wishes, uh, Disney or theme park wishes. We have uh, room makeovers. We have electronic wishes, but the shopping spree wishes have come right here to Macy's and you've helped us out. And we thank you for all that you do for us throughout the year. And so many people here in the community supporting us. You know, we could not do it if we didn't have all of you behind us too, because uh, our organization is unlike any other that I know, we can't solicit outside of our territory. So, um, you know, we may have the large corporations like Macy's on every corner, but we can't go to them directly. So we depend on people here in the community. That's why this national partnership is very important to us because you cover all of us in the U.S. You reach out to all of our chapters and help each and every child everywhere, all, all throughout the U.S. And so that's very, very important to us. Uh, we've granted over 1,300, 1,350 wishes so far since we've been here in the valley. And we only cover six little counties down here, so, and two of those are mainly populated by deer, Brooks and Kennedy <laughs> County. So, so we're very happy to say that we've reached a lot of children, but we do not want to miss not one child, not one child here in the valley, because we see the miracles that have happened. We've seen the hope and the strength and the joy that comes from granting a wish. And so we want to make every child's most heartfelt wish come true. Not what mom or dad or brother or sister or cousin wants, but what that child wants, wants more than anything in the entire world. And we've seen the miracles happen from this. We've seen them start fighting and really have a will to keep going through those old nasty chemo treatments, right, Yada? Yeah, and keep fighting every single day. 
And we're so glad that you ought to come to us. Would you like to come up here, honey, and tell them what your wish is going to be? Because she has not had her wish granted yet. Hold up. I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> honey, when you came to our office, I had the privilege of interviewing this young lady. And let me tell you, this little gal just won my heart from the get-go. She had me wrapped right around her little finger. And she started telling me about the different things that she had thought about. Or, do you remember some of those things that you thought about? Not actually. But <laughs> because, because there's one thing that stood out, right? You Hawaii. tell me. Tell them what it was. It was Hawaii. She wants to go to Hawaii. Yeah. You do. You do. So I'd like for you to meet Miss <laughs> Erica De La Cruz, who is my wish coordinator and has been with me for 14 years. And we have something to tell you this today and to share with you wishes, wishes do come, come true, true yada, yada. Oh, you're guess what you're <laughs> you are honey your wish has been approved you are going to hawaii <laughs> <laughs> Yada just got through having the chemo treatment. We have other ladies for the family, too. We, because not only Yada's going, we're not just going to put her on a plane by herself. All of the family will be going with her, her mom, dad, and her sisters, her brother. And let's see, it's like four kiddos and two adults <laughs> that will be going. And we're going to make sure that all of their expenses are covered. She gets to see the things that she wants to see and do the things that she wants to do. And we're going to forget about chemo, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> so today, we wish her come Not today. <laughs> okay. And you're welcome. You're welcome. Did you want to say anything? No. no. <laughs> okay. But thanks to you. Thank you, Macy's. Thank you so much for all y'all do. Thanks for all the people in the community who support us. I see several of our good supporters right out here right now. Thank you so much from the bottom of our heart for making wishes come true right here in the Rio Grande Valley. Did we yeah. give a $1,000 spending money? <laughs> oh, yay! Appreciate you and your support. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Do you hear that? You have a thousand dollars spending money plus. That's good. <laughs> Just for you, darling. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ava, to the Make a Wish uh, Rio Grande Valley chapter, and of course. Mr. and Mrs. Vacker, thank you so much for your generosity. So again, we invite all of you to, to come to Macy's, write your letters, go to the Christmas in the Park um, and write your letters there. And of course, to remember the reason for the season. If any of you would like to give to Make-A-Wish uh, here in the Rio Grande Valley, if you can follow them on Facebook and contact them there, then you can uh, get information on how to donate to them directly to help make other uh, children's wishes come true. Before we continue, I would like to recognize the Honorable uh, Victor Sebi Haddad, who joined us, a commissioner for the city of McAllen. Thank you so much. Macy's will be at uh, Christmas in the Park, and it is all part of the celebration of the best parade in the world. Sorry, Macy's, but we really actually have that title. <laughs> uh, the McAllen Holiday Parade presented by ATB will be on Saturday, December 7th. And uh, while that steps off at 6 p.m. from the McAllen Veterans Memorial Stadium, it is going to open up with a fabulous musical holiday extravaganza with Mané de la Para. And so just to give you a little preview of what last year's was like and what you can expect this year for so if you have not got your tickets, you need to get your tickets today so you can uh, see that, that extravaganza and the show inside the stadium.
so we hope to see all of you there. We have been so excited. It's been actually six months that we've been working on the parade uh, really intently, and we are so excited to have um, all of our, our dreams and our vision come to life this Saturday. And then, of course, all the festivities um, open up tomorrow with the carnival and, of course, Christmas in the park. Thank you all so much for your support of this event, the City of McAllen, and, um, and, and everything that we do for the holiday for, for your big day, right? <laughs> that, that's what we're all working towards. Uh, so thank you, Santa, for being here. Thank you to all of our media partners and our sponsors for the McAllen Holiday Parade. And uh, thank you all. Um, we'd like to end the, the today's wonderful press conference with the beautiful musical stylings of Mac High Jazz Band. Thank you all so much.